to another episode of Payday. If I'm not talking as loud as I usually am in my videos, uh, it's because I'm probably a tiny bit tired right now. It is actually, um, what time is it? Yeah, it is 1.40 in the morning. So this is what I do for you guys. I'm pretty sure every single other YouTuber that's famous out there goes through this, but I'm doing this because, one, I felt like I needed to do this because I didn't do much for 100 subscribers, and two, well, I've always wanted to be do being able to do this for a while. But anyway, I'm basically going to go quickly as fast as I can because the last time I tried this, I failed badly. This is just going to be a build that I usually run with. What well, I'm running with now that I've hit like Infamy. You have to be at least Infamy 3 because you need, um, you, of course, you get the Infamy point in the glasses at the very start. So you want to get, this is what will be on screen. You want this, obviously, because that's what you have to do. You want Set of the Corrupted and you also want the Assassin Set. One, because it makes the skill points of each tier cheaper, so basically this is an Infamy 3 build for a Kimbo. So let's go back, let's quickly go to my skills. I call it the YouTube build, fantastic, Fugitive build. This is exactly what you want entire your Fugitive build. Um, do you want this? Definitely get this aced, because you need it for stealth. And a few other things, so this is what this looks like. I'm gonna rush, quickly go through this, so if you want to copy it, pause the video, do what you need to do in Payday, and come back. This is Ghost. There's nothing in Technician, so we don't have to worry about that. Enforcer, it's kind of, it's just Transporter Ace, and that's it. Mastermind is this. Now, it does come to a point in the game where you do have 12 points to spend wherever you like, because you could potentially just Ace Inspire if you didn't have um, Trigger Happy and Song Song like single points in, and it's purely up to you what you do with them. I just keep these single points as they are. So you have to copy this exactly, because if you don't, it doesn't work. So yeah, this is what my build looks like all the time. And if you want to know what skill perk I'm running, I'm running Grinder because it's OP. So basically, I'm actually going to go through some practical uses of this quite quickly. It's actually a nice place to talk about my build. It's good for taking out doses because with the secondary, my um, judge shotgun, it's equipped with a... Well, uh, let's just let's quickly go for it. It's equipped with high explosive rounds. It has the crowns compensator, so the accuracy is a lot higher than it should be and a compact laser module no sight whatsoever uh, akimbo interceptor 45 pistols because the stability accuracy and the ammo clip size and of course they sound beautiful when you're actually shooting them in game i have that let's have a look at this i have the flash harder because there's no concealment debuffs based on the skills of crits i have micro laser there's no concealment debuffs there magazine just so you get extra ammo so makes things easier for you to kill if you miss but yeah, I don't think you will and expert slide just to bring up the accuracy a lot higher it's very quick very so I'm going through as, as fast as I can this is like I don't know three minutes in already uh, character mask you want first aid because it's obviously the best that's what you got two-piece suit because you want that dodge okay cool that that's just the basic logistic stuff if you don't know if you want to go back and like pause the video and go ahead because I'll be explaining a few things before I go into the actual footage of how how it practically works in game for a few not for everything just for, for a few things first things first it has a decent dodge because of the um, because of the sneaky bastard it has quite high crit damage against doses when the mask actually comes off and well anytime you shoot someone in the head it's gonna actually kill them after a couple of shots which is quite nice it's good for stealth because you have head and blade ace so you just change your secondary to like a silenced pistol and you can see when it goes down to like four maybe three it, it's purely up to you um that's pretty good you can take out shields with the sh with the high explosive rounds you just have to shoot them twice relatively i might have some of that footage somewhere uh, you can take out doses quite efficiently. Um, you can take out turrets, but I'll show you what it's like on every single difficulty there is. And what else? 
it's pretty much it. It has high accuracy, so you can shoot snipers from a, a, a fair distance, not too far away. The, the far furthest away I've ever shot in someone and killed someone was a cop from the big bank while I was on the crane inside the actual box while shifting it because he was shooting me from like outside of the front building i don't know how he just was but anyway that's it for end game payday stuff because reasons i was just trying to make this as quick as possible and let's go to the actual footage shall we okay as you can see in this piece of footage um this is actually currently on hard on payday 2 it's not it's not too hard i've got the judge shotgun it takes about two to three shots to the actual turret to destroy the shield and when i switch to my 45 akimbos it dies within moments okay this is the second clip we are actually in very hard now and the diff the scale of like health for that turret changes as you probably see when i actually started shooting with judge shotgun i actually had to shoot it six times directly to actually remove the shield and once again it actually takes almost a full clip of my akimbo 45 pistols to take it out okay now we are in overkill and in overkill i've just got extra bits of ammo because i know that i'm gonna have to reload so this actually takes i think that's i think it's like a full clip of 10 so yeah i've had to take out a few of these guys so this is what i mean by shooting them in the head a couple of times and they die pretty self-explanatory this is what the minis are for to get you back up again so so far i've shot the thing about three times it's four five six so yes around about six times it's the same but it has to be direct shots for it to actually take much of an effect and as you can see from the previous difficulties this is actually taking a lot longer it, it drastically look that's the full clip gone although it is down to quite low health so a full clip and a half can actually manage to destroy the overkill turret okay so this is the death wish turret now this drastically is like horrendously changed it has i i can't count how much health that is that has almost 700 700,000 health and it takes more than a few rounds to to efficiently kill with uh, take out the shield with the he josh shotgun it would help if like a teammate had um, ammo bags or rocket launcher to take out the shield straight off the bat so that you could actually deal quite a efficient amount of damage. There's three shots for these random guys though. That was relatively easy. Two shots there. So I go through pretty much all my clips. That was five bullets of Hydra's rounds gone. Another five but not shit. No, that was not three. Help up Dallas, I think that is. And there you go, that is 10 rounds. That has to be like accurate every single shot. Now, this is where it becomes really difficult to try and take out these. You, you need like a good team to like defend you as you're trying to take this out because you can get swarmed by a lot of people. And at this point, I can show you what happens when you try and kill a shield with your high of friends. Sometimes, it, I did say it sometimes is two shots in Death Wish, but it's quite rarely. Oh, here look, here's a dozer. Perfect opportunity. Let's just take you out, bam. He's stunned, shoot him in the head, dead. It's pretty much the same case for green dozers and, and skull dozers, because they actually have the same amount of health. Okay, now here's a perfect example of a shield that was already damaged, so he took two shots. That shield took one because it was at 32 health. This is why you'd need a um, thing, because your dodge comes in handy and your heals. It's quite useful and like, think of things. Oh, sorry, Hoxton. Shot you in the face. So while well, he's getting him back up again, here's the distance. It's not too bad. I'm um, aiming down sights and managed to kill off a sniper after shooting twice. Uh, here's the really annoying part. It takes so long to actually kill one of those things, but it's surprising how much damage you can do with just two pistols. I mean, if you're not aiming directly at the sensor that's attacking you, then you actually don't get that extra buff. There you go. Finally killed it. It took longer than you ex you'd expect it to, but this is Death Wish after all, so there you go. That's a turret dead. Those are just some guys that just randomly killed me. These are just some or pretty much the basic uses of my build. 
So there you have it you guys, that was my build, there was some practical uses, there was some actual physical evidence, I was running Hoxhud just so you know how much damage I do per enemy, so gonna take him down doses as you saw when I stunned it in the most recent video. Okay, you can take out Deathwish turrets but it does, it does tax you on your ammo so you, it helps if you bring like an ammo bag or like when your teammates does or if you manage to um, have like a deployable like pre-planning drop for ammo it's quite useful to have bear in mind the dodge is pretty much what's keeping you alive from actually getting yourself killed and the swan song that i have with the build is just in case if you do like get too ambitious and you're like oh crap okay time to retreat go back inside or get back into cover where a teammate can help you up or inspire you at least that's why you have your minis because on death wish it is so annoying honestly it's like you get you get full heal you get taken out by a cloaker and then your health is back down to like three percent or something you don't like like screw you cloaker you bastards i don't want to be yelling because there's people trying to sleep at the moment but anyway yeah thank you guys so much for watching this payday build of mine haha <laughs> i guess but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you to you bye